Hello friends, today we will learn how to send emails dynamically without hard coded text. So in a send SMTP mail message, if you have already seen my videos, there you know you mention the two subject and body which are completely hard coded. I mean let's say tomorrow you have to send an email uh, with a different subject or different body every time you have to come to the workflow and change the codes right you have to every time change it here so you basically do not want that what you instead would like what if i store in a excel file and i do make changes over here and that should automatically take the changes to my workflow and send the email right so that that way you can dynamically every day all you have to do is you don't have to open your code every day rather you open your excel file and make the changes and run the bot right so this is quite easy and handy and how to do that okay to do that we'll be using something called variables right variables uh, or rather i would say you know we'll use a dictionary and make it happen so let's learn how to do it so first activity that i'm using is a excel application scope in the excel application scope i am just reading the excel file where it is available next is your read range activity where i am reading the send email master sheet and i am reading the entire data and i am storing all the value values into data table master dt okay let me show you so this is the send email master all the data will be stored into a data table called master dt okay done after that i am using a for each row and i am using the data table master dt and i am running through all the data okay so this has got title and details i am running through all the data one by one okay so here what i am using is a r2 dictionary okay now uh, if you are a you know if you find that r2 dictionary is something not available on your ui path click on manage packages and type here go to all packages select all packages and type microsoft dot activities okay and this is the one you need to install it okay i have already installed it okay so once you get that you know drag and drop the r2 dictionary and here to a control k and give some name give a name to a dictionary control k so i have given a name master okay so master is a dictionary so if i go back here here you can see the master is a dictionary now once you create the dictionary the main thing is you have to initiate it so you have to write new dictionary you can see that right so i'm going to handle string and string because uh, all these values uh, to subject and body will be of string type so all i have to do is string of string comma string okay so this is how you have to initiate it so once the dictionary is initiated what i am doing i wanted to pull row you know title title dot to string so in the title the first one the first one will get into the key that means the two will become the key and details will become the value so here key value is row dot title so all the things that is there in the title all of this would become the key and all of this will become the value so you know how to utilize the dictionary okay and then row dot details dot to string should become the value all right so i have mentioned it now i want to access all of this data one by one so in my excel file i have got two subject and body only three things so i want to access one by one so to do that how do i access it okay now in the send smtp mail message what you do instead of hard coded email i'll be writing master this is my dictionary okay the give the bracket and within quotes you have to i want to access to okay and here you write dot to string okay now in the subject it, this is the subject now to access this 
again I have to write the dictionary name master and in bracket I have to say subject two dot two string all right and the body master body so all this body and subject are written in my excel file in the same way right okay so if you see this now all of these are the exact way i have written whatever the variables you are declaring it here the same way you should write it over here okay once done let let us execute and see so let me open my gmail okay there is no such email now and let me run it so let me show you what i have written um, subject day one uh, UIPAD topic hello Rakesh please find the activities completed by our team please access the below URL thanks and regards expo of team so this is what the entire data okay fine so now I am going to send this so this is the so tomorrow if I have to send another kind of a topic or uh, to another person I just have to use the same excel file and change the details there right so it will be quite easy so that is the benefit okay so it's completed let me go back okay so you can see that day one you have a topic has come right and here all the details as we have mentioned in the excel file has come over here thank you very much guys myself rakesh i do upload videos daily and with a lot of interesting topics please do subscribe to the channel in in case you have not and please definitely hit on the like button and ask your questions in the comment section thank you very much have a wonderful day